Welcome back, Jayhawks fans. To over 50. Last night we witnessed, I think, possibly the most complete game that Kansas has played this season. They really played, in my opinion, good team defense. They need to work on that step back that where the where the player does that little one on one, you know, dribble, dribble, and then gets the defender to go back. In this case, last night it was Jalen Wilson that I one one play that I noticed. And as soon as Wilson took a step back, pulled the trigger on a three. And of course, when you're stepping back, you can't get your hands up in the face of the shooter. So step back threes are something that the Jayhawks definitely need to work on. But you can see here the title, Kansas routes Nevada 88 to 61. That's what it was. It was a route. Um, uh, as I told you in the previous video, the, the preview of this game, that Sherfield was going to be, I might have called him Sheffield, I think, but Sherfield is basically their big guy, and he was last night. He led him in points, led him in assists, and also led him in turnovers. But the game was never really in doubt. I mean, I think the closest Nevada was to uh, – the closest they got to Kansas was six points. You can see it. this was in 14-43 in the first half. Um, yeah, they're down uh, seven there see down six here so um basically really was not much of a game you can see over here in the conference standings uh iowa state iowa state is looking tough this year um so baylor and iowa state uh, lead us along with west virginia in the conference but i don't know exactly who they have all played so uh, when it gets to conference play that's when records really matter field goal percentage last night Kansas shot 50, almost 54% from the field while holding Nevada to 37 and a half. Three point, they were 39% pretty much. They held Nevada to under 30, which is always good. Turnovers, they turned Nevada over 21 times, but Kansas had 14 turnovers. I'd like to see this number, as I've said in previous videos, I prefer to see it no higher than 10 for an entire game. And rebounds, won the rebounding edge, and that's something that Bill Self has said that this team is going to have to definitely make sure they do. They want to be you know, successful and go ahead and you know, achieve greatness and win a national championship this year. Looking at the box scores, you know, you know, Nevada had a couple guys in um, double figures, and that's their two guards, you know, Sherfield and Cambridge, and they could they could pretty much play in any program. They're really that good. It's down to it. They do have two seven footers, but they're two seven footers. You can see Baker only scored eight points. And I think the other one was, I'm sorry, Baker and I think it might have been, uh, it might have been Henry. You got him listed as a forward, but I think he's a seven footer. Now, we don't really want to focus on. Nevada stats because we've already discussed them, but um, just look at the, the the points over here. McCormick was in double figures. Harris was in double figures. He had a really good game. He really played well defensively. And if you look, he every shot he took, he made, with the exception of one free throw. He had five assists, two steals, had two turnovers, but I mean, 14 points. Um, that That is excellent when you get that kind of uh, – Point production from him. Brown with 22. Abaji only had 16, but you know he made shots when it was when when he had when he had to, and you know when Kansas needed some momentum, he had some really great dunks in the fast break. So Abaji is probably not going to be the number three scorer in the nation next week. You know when you know, this week Slater games are played because they'll probably that 16 point performance is probably going to drop him below his. Uh, average of 22 points a game. Uh, Jalen Wilson had a nice game. 21 minutes. He was three for five, one for two from three point range. Look at this 10 rebounds. I showed you on the other screen. Kansas had 39 rebounds. He had 10 of them. That is, that is excellent. We need, you know, David McCormick had six and Abaji had seven, but you know, to see one guy with 10 rebounds, that's really good. He had a steal, a block, a turnover, seven points. That's a good stat line because Jalen Wilson, you know, he had that suspension to start the year. So he's, I don't want to say he's developmentally 
behind everybody else, but it's just everybody else has sort of had more time to work with each other. And when you take someone or you take a piece that hasn't had an opportunity to gel with the rest of the team, it takes a little while for him to be worked in there. But it's nice to see that, you know, he, you know, I think he had, a, this was probably easily one of his best games of the year. Uh, let's see, uh, Jalen Coleman lands, he played six minutes. Um, I would really like to see more from him. Uh, David McCormick, I just had one. I know you're probably saying, gosh, you got to pick on McCormick again, but look at Kansas's free throw percentage. 68, almost 69%, 11 of 16 on, on field goals. McCormick is still shooting 50%. You know, we really need him to shoot better than that. And because he's, because when he gets the ball down low, some teams will adopt the old school hack a shack. That's back when Shaquille O'Neal couldn't shoot free throws. So you just foul Shaquille, put him on the line where you knew he'd missed the free throws. Because if you let him have the ball down low, he would just dunk all over you all day. So um, that's pretty much how the game went. Really wasn't much of an issue. And you can see here's our schedule so far, just the one blemish that buzzer beater against Dayton you can see the Colorado on the screen um, that was canceled Nevada scheduled and this is a new one Saturday January 1st George Mason will be coming to Kansas uh, something Bill Self said he was really the reason why he was really upset or not upset but disappointed that the Colorado game got canceled was is that would have been an opportunity to be on the road in a hostile environment I mean they have played away from from Fog Island Fieldhouse, but Kansas is going to, that first road game in the Big 12 Conference, they're going to have to make sure that they've, you know, that they've got, they've got themselves dialed in and focused because, like, I think the first game, well, the first game, it's right here. It's at uh, Gallagher I Iba Arena. Um, that's, a, <laughs> those are some fans that, you know, we remember, I think a few years ago, they were throwing things, um, you know, at, you know, on the court and really getting, you know, you know, making some uh, just really bad verbal remarks. I don't want to get all into that and get the chance of YouTube not liking me and giving me a, a hit on this video. But George Mason is this Saturday, 5 o'clock on ESPN+. Plus. I've been told that it's going to be on the Big 12 Network. Uh, before I let you go, um, or before I give you some insight stats that I think you might find interesting that I pulled up, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button, drop questions or comments down below or corrections. And you, if you catch some, if you catch a mistake I made, I'd love to know what it was so I don't make it again and share this video with your friends up there. But at the end of the first half, there was um, 16 turnovers that Kansas had forced, only 15 points. That's something that needs to be fixed. Um, Remy Martin um, showed glimpses of how he can take over a game. Um, so I'm just excited to see his development and see, seeing him accept his role and doing things the Bill Self way. Because you got to understand, he came from Arizona where they were like, here, you run the show, you do what you want, you put up your points, and he was the man. So here he's learning that he's part of the team and not like the major cog that, you know, makes the team the team go. Um, or I talked about George Mason. Uh, this was the third straight game that KU has forced opponents into 20 or more turnovers. The last team to do that was the national championship team. So just something to, just a little nugget there. I thought you, I was hoping you might find uh, uh, interesting. Um, this was uh, also their highest field goal percentage in a game this year. So just those are some little nuggets and notes, but let me go ahead and cut this short or try to cut it off so that you guys can get out of here. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video all the way to the end. Again, if you would subscribe, like, share this video, comment down below. And until uh, next time, uh, probably Sunday uh, before the Chiefs play, uh, we'll talk about the George Mason victory, which uh, I don't see that being too much of a, too much of a problem, but y'all take care and have a happy new year.